Hi, it's Adrienne. How are you doing? And so I'm back with a second look from the Stranger Things palette uh, by ColourPop. And I'm not quite sure if it's ColourPop times Stranger Things or Stranger Things times ColourPop, but either way, uh, this is kind of the way that the look worked out. And I'll go ahead and get started with what I have on right now. And we'll go ahead and get going. So I did go ahead and use the Pretty Fresh uh, Foundation in Fair 30. I added in some of the e.l.f. bronzing drops and the rose gold. And I also did some of the Lumi, or the Lumi Glow, Glowation or Glotion, Glotion. And this one is in 902. So I think this is the lightest shade. Again, the rose gold by e.l.f. and uh, the Pretty Fresh foundation by ColourPop. So that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and use the Pretty Fresh uh, concealer as well. So I have on that. As far as what I did for bronzer today, use a Buttermilk bronzer. This one is in Buttercup. And so this is the light, lightest shade that they have. And I have Hip Pan on this one as well. I've been using it all summer long. So really enjoying that one. I did go ahead and use a Super Shy by uh, ColourPop to go ahead and do my blush. So that's what I have on as a liquid blush. I did go ahead and mix my highlighters again. And yes, this is um, my Flexitarian. And not only am I panning it, but I'm trying to use up the whole thing. I may have two or three uh, uses left, but all I have left is a little bit around the edge. And so, yes, I do pan things sometimes, and I have gone through several flexitarian highlighters. But what I went ahead and mixed it with today is this one from Revlon. It's their Daybreak Highlighter, and it's shade 201, and so that's what I went ahead and mixed today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see, what else did I do for cheeks. We went ahead and did that. Um, I have the Panorama on uh, by L'Oreal and the Essence Volume Stylus. So that's what I have on as far as my mascara. So I did go ahead and mix those today. And I did go ahead and use the Just a Tint Just Because. A really pretty color. And then I mixed in some of the Metaglow by Essence with it. Yeah, I did these just attempts are just such a good formula, and I hope they don't discontinue them because that would make me really, really sad. As far as my eyeliner, use a handy, yeah, hand eye in. And so I went ahead and used this one, and then I mixed it with the ColourPop, and this is when they're multi chrome eyeliners. I, and on the waterline, I use the ZC eyeliner that I got on the ice cream box, and this one is actually, actually a gold. So I have all three of these eyeliners on. And as far as the Stranger Things palette, um, I was over in Alta and I actually saw these in store, in stock in Alta. So I think this is actually the Halloween release. And um, if, if you don't have time to order it, and I know that for some people, um, ordering can take a long time depending on where you live. But if you don't have time to do that, if you have an Alta Close, you might want to go ahead and go in store. Um, because like I said, I did see this in stock in store. And so um, yeah, it, it's a really pretty palette. I, I've already done one video with a look with the bottom two rows here. And so I'm going ahead and doing a look with the top two rows. And actually, I did go ahead and use this burgundy. It looks kind of red, but it actually comes off as a burgundy. And so I did go ahead and use that in this look. So I put this one in the crease. I put this one on the outer corner. And again, it's showing up red, but it's really a burgundy. Went ahead and put the green on the lid, so I have that right there, and then the green fades into the burgundy on the outer corner. Um, I did go ahead and use some of the bronze, and so I went ahead and used that right up on the outer, yeah, outer area, um, out, 
so I went ahead and put some of that up there. And then as far as this yellow, I went ahead and put that right on uh, the inner part of the lid right here. And then this is such a pretty glitter. This is really a gorgeous glitter. It's one of those holographic ones that have all sorts of different color of glitters in them. And um, you can just go ahead. It's everything that's sparkling right now is this glitter. And they reformulated all of these so that they're, they're really finely milled. And you can actually put them on top of eyeshadow. I'm not using glitter glue. I haven't had a problem with it all, you know, falling down my face during the day. It tends to stick where I put it. And so I feel much more comfortable in going ahead and using uh, glitters now that they've reformulated. And it's such a finely milled one. And uh, this one is definitely a holographic one. It has all sorts of different colors of glitter in it. It's really, really pretty. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I've done. Um, no, I think that's just about all. But I'm going to go ahead and spray it with a little bit more Glisten Up to go ahead and see if I can get the glitter to show up a little bit more. So again, that's Glisten Up by Fourth Ray Beauty. It's a ColourPop skincare company, and you can get this on their website as well. It's one of my favorite products. I think, I've, again, a product that I've repurchased and repurchased and repurchased. It's a really good face setting spray. So there's the way that the look worked out. And actually, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of this bronze back into it. So there we go. There we go. Uh, they're just such pretty colors. And this is the really good color pop formula. So I would definitely go ahead and recommend this palette. It has um, so much fun. This the bottom two rows and I know it's based on the show and I haven't watched the show that much I'm gonna go and binge it but um, these bottom two rows if you have a Halloween party that you're going to these two uh, the looks that I've come up with it are really cool I have another video on that and then this one for everyday looks or these two rows up here for everyday looks yeah it's it's a really fun format that they haven't done and um, all of the quality is really good the looks keep on coming out really pretty and I'm having a lot of fun with uh, glitter and color pop and I never thought I'd get to the point where I felt comfortable wearing glitter but I do now so that's good and again these are available in Ulta um, like I said, the Ulta that I have near me, they're available in store right now. Also, um, on the ColourPop website, you can go ahead and order it off of there, too. I didn't have any problems with getting mine. Um, I actually ordered, and I got mine within about five days. So right now, yeah, the... Um, we haven't started hitting the holiday where you can't get any of your packages right now. It's still running real well here. And um, I think that's probably the video. And I'll see you later. And I hope that you have a great, great day. Bye.